open Photoshop and I, this I'm going to be using Photoshop 2024 and you can go to new file choose what dimensions you want like if you want it to be in inches do 13 inches 13 by 19 and keep your resolution at 300 this will stay RGB color this stays the same you can choose what background color you want it if you have a custom one and just say you, you want it, it to be that red leave everything the same and click create when it comes time to print you go to file print that's my printer and I go right here to let my printer manage my colors these are the print settings. Click that. Here are my print setters. This is the Epson 8550. I have the rear paper feeder, the Super B 13 by 19. I uncheck borderless portrait presentation paper mat. That's what I use because I use crafting besties paper and this works best for me my color selected there is on high not standard I use high two side printer off this is off print preview I like to keep that on everything else looks like this then I go to more options custom this is shown already and I keep it like this super B same as the document size then I go to advance also only mirror is checked that's it advance this is the color controls I choose in some cases ICM because ICM may give you the colors that you want if you don't want to select any of the color controls I use the slide bar a lot these are my settings for brightness 3, contrast 6, saturation 15, cyan 3, magenta 4, yellow 5. I use Adobe RGB right here, 2.2 gamma. I also use the color circle. These are my settings for the color circle. 3 for the brightness, 6, contrast, 15, saturation, 4 for density. So you could go with either one of these, however you choose. But all of this, I would stick with that if you really want popping colors. If you have human or colors you don't want to be like too bold and too bright, ICM might be for you. Some people also like to choose the Epson Vivid. Some people use that. I don't. I like Adobe RGB so that's what I do when I print my images because I find that when I let Photoshop manage my colors I don't have any options and then I have to try to choose a profile well for me the Epson 8550 profile is supposed to be here that's it but it doesn't look good I've done some sample prints using ICM a color control and letting Photoshop manage my color so you can check out that video to see how those turned out I prefer ICM or using the color circle depends on what I'm printing but that would conclude this video um, because if you choose printer managing those colors the one thing you're gonna have to do is go in and 
do some adjustments. You're going to have to go into um, to change your color ranges, go into your image, and then you will have to do some adjustments here to your color and all this. I do not go in there because I notice you got to mess with the brightness and control. You have to either bring the brightness all the way up and bring the control down or bring both of them up and bring one down. You have to play around with that or let it auto. It can auto select it for you based on what image you have there. So that's something else you can test if you really, really want Photoshop to manage your colors. Um, because color profiles don't work for me and I'm using Hippo ink right now until it runs out and then I'm going to switch to the Crafting Besties ink. I'm going to give that a try. So some ink profiles don't work. I know with Crafting Besties um, 6 ink for 85.50 printers, I'm not sure if it will be for the 15,000 but for that printer of mine, the 85.50, I'm not going to need to use a color profile and so that's why I really want to switch to that ink and it'll match my paper as well so i hope you found this video helpful and if you have any other questions just let me know thanks for watching